Hello, my beautiful people. Today it's Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So I'm waiting for Alexander to wake up because we're gonna go grocery shopping right after that. I still have some things to buy, some produce, because I want everything to be nice and fresh for tomorrow. And I'm gonna take you guys around. We're gonna vlog today and tomorrow so you can see how we're spending Thanksgiving, what kind of food I'm making, the whole shebang. And so we are going to um, our friend's house. They live a little bit closer. They just got a house. So this is their first Thanksgiving in the new house. We're going to be about 30 people. Apparently, it's going to be a lot. So of course, I'm bringing my own food. Everybody's bringing something. So there's going to be a lot of food, but I don't eat meat. And so I just, I'm going to make my own food and we're going to keep everything nice and vegan. Let's go. Alexander just got up, so I'm gonna feed him next. I made some soup, I changed, I filmed, because I have a little bit of makeup on. And so I'm gonna feed him and then we're gonna hit the grocery store because I need to uh, buy some produce. And I think we're gonna go to Costco first and then maybe afterwards to Trader Joe's or ShopRite. So I'll see, I'll keep you updated. But I'm so excited and I think I'm going to start the cooking tonight. Wow. What is this? I think I'm going to do some of the cooking tonight. Maybe the pies and the squash. Oh, by the way, what I am making for dinner for Thanksgiving. So I'm making roasted veggies. I got all my recipes from Eat Move Rest's YouTube channel. Um, I love them. I've tried their recipes before and I love making, making their stuff. So I'm going to do stuffed butternut squash with uh, quinoa risotto, which I've never tried. And then I'm gonna roast some veggies in the oven like beets, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, sweet potatoes. Um, what else? And carrots. And then I wanna do a salad. Like they made this beautiful, super good looking salad, which was made with spinach, pomegranate seeds, um oranges and like a citrus dressing it looked so easy and walnuts oh i need to buy walnuts <laughs> yay and so it looked amazing and i want to give that a go so i'm excited so let's go grocery shopping okay we are in the car but i've decided that we're gonna stop by the mall because they have an indoor playground and i want to take alexander over there he's been having a runny nose for the past three days so he's very very stuffy so i don't want to take him outside of the playground because it's freezing cold i think last night was 27 degrees and so it's been really really cold here in jersey so that's why i don't want to take him outside to the playground i mean i take him around the neighborhood for short walks but i want him to enjoy like go on the slides do some activities so we're gonna stop by the mall like the mall it's five minutes it's really really close to us so it's very easy for me it's gonna be in and out for like 20 minutes i'm gonna be there with him so he can take his energy out so then he can be okay while i go grocery shopping because if not it's not gonna be it won't be easy he doesn't like going grocery shopping anymore and so i have to be quick it's always in and out which i will be because i know exactly what i want so i won't be there for too long but still i want him to be content so i'm going to take him to the playground and i'll see you in a little bit
boat and it's crazy easy here. So I got some oranges, got some potatoes, and I'm gonna go get look for some Brussels sprouts and pomegranate seeds. home i'm gonna unload the car i'm gonna bring all the groceries inside and then we're gonna have dinner and then i'm gonna start cooking um i might put alexander down first and then do the cooking so we'll see but i'll show you when i start so from costco i got mushrooms pomegranate seeds blackberries raspberries walnuts because i'm gonna need walnuts for my spinach salad and then i took out the squash, the beets, I cut off the greens. Uh, for the beets, I, I took these out because I wanna start with the squash and prep the squash first and then take care of the rest. I mean, happy Thanksgiving because it's Thanksgiving today. 36 degrees out in Jersey, I'm freezing. But guess what, it's seven o'clock in the morning and I'm going to the grocery store because I need to buy arrowroot powder because I'm pretty much done with my cooking. I have to put the salad together, assemble the salad and make the risotto, the quinoa risotto. But I baked the vegetables last night. I was on my game. Everything was going nice and smooth. And then I was like, I'm ready to bake my pies. And so I go on from my bowl to look for the recipe and guess what? <laughs> Realize that I don't have cornstarch and arrowroot powder at home. done i got myself some kombucha so i can drink something tonight too what's happening here and uh i got arrowroot powder um uh, tapioca flour flowers so i'm ready to go it took me forever to find the arrowroot powder because um i had asked for help and those ladies had no idea what i was talking about and i was like maybe it's my accent and she goes no i've never heard of that and i was like what about tapioca she goes yeah well what do you use that for i'm like well, how about cornstarch but uh so she came over she's like thank you for letting me know i'm gonna tell you know our clients and our customers to use this instead of like white flour or cornstarch because this is such a such a better alternative and i was like yeah girl go for it because it is way better so i'm happy i'm gonna go home because i'm running behind big time i have to bake two pies i want to bake two pies one for my neighbor and one for our friends and let's go so i started making the pie this is the pie crust uh it's in between two uh baking sheets then I'm gonna coat the pie pan with this dough, do the filling, and then do another layer of the crust on top. I made four doughs, so I have two pies. I'm excited, I'm good on timing. I'm gonna work on the filling next, which is gonna be blueberry filling. Super easy to make. I'm gonna link 
the recipes below i got inspired from from my bowl and then eat move rest for my savory stuff both amazing channels amazing blogs so i'm gonna link their recipes and not my recipes yeah we're gonna finish with this and then i'll get ready and we'll hit the road and this is how everything turned out i made a small salad for my neighbor all the roasted veggies there a huge salad look how beautiful this is and then two of the blueberry pies i also chipped my nail oh well i don't know why i added powdered sugar do you guys do that i mean i am not from here so in romania when we bake we add powdered sugar on everything so this is my first time making baking a pie so i don't know i felt the need to add powdered sugar but then i made a poll on instagram asked you guys if you do that here and, and everybody was like no so then the second one came with no powdered sugar i didn't weave the um, the dough on this one just because i didn't have enough but i think it looks cute too and this is the butternut squash stuffed with a quinoa risotto i made three of them and then here we have the spinach pomegranate oranges and pecan salad and then here we have a bunch of roasted veggies i cannot wait all ready to go i have a birthday balloon in the bag because it's my friend's birthday so we're gonna celebrate thanksgiving and his birthday at the same time i flapped up my hair i can't really show you my outfit but yeah let's roll i'm excited today was a busy day we had so much fun i didn't film a lot because we were all together enjoying this thanksgiving so i hope you had a beautiful thanksgiving and thank you so much for watching hello hello today it's the day after thanksgiving and i wanted to come on here get ready with you guys and um talk about yesterday because i know i didn't get to show you a lot and i didn't talk to you guys a lot yesterday just because it was such a busy long day and i truly wanted to enjoy it and just be with my family and my friends and so i'm gonna get ready uh, with you guys because the boys are sleeping and afterwards I think we're gonna go to the mall take Alexander to that indoor playground that he loves so much and we're just gonna walk around because today is Black Friday and it's freaking crazy probably everywhere but we're gonna go with it and uh, we're gonna go to the mall so I'm gonna get ready and let's chit chat about yesterday about the food I made about how everything went my smoothie here Mm. and this is made with frozen banana frozen mango frozen strawberries and hemp seeds and oat milk i sometimes do just fruit so today was a day like that where i wanted something nice sweet and refreshing so i only did fruit and sometimes i throw some veggies in here like spinach but not today let's get started i have a little bit of makeup here i've already moisturized my skin this will be nice and quick just wanted to chit chat with you guys. I didn't want to just end the vlog like that because I feel like I didn't get to show you much from yesterday. Um, so this was the Laneige serum that I love so much. You've seen me use this before. And then I'm also gonna use the Laneige lip mask. Obsessed with this thing. Amazing, I'm almost done. It's literally on its last leg okay i'm not gonna do much this is what i usually do on a daily when i don't wear a lot of makeup you'll see the steps i take um i just got a new concealer and this is by the beauty blender i've never tried anything from beauty blender so we'll see but it's so cute because the applicator looks like a mini beauty blender i don't know if you probably won't be able to see it but Looks like a mini applicator. So one side is super, super fluffy and the other side it's flat. So I'm gonna go in and you're supposed to blend it with your beauty blender and it's supposed to give you that airbrushed look. So we'll see about that. So yesterday, it was so nice. Well, first off, we got there around like three o'clock 
everybody got there at one. I believe most of my friends got there at one. We got at three. And that's because, you know, with a baby, things are a little bit different. He, Alexander napped till two o'clock. After we woke up, every, the car was packed. Everything was ready to go. So we just, you know, uh, I got him dressed and we left. But we got there around three o'clock, which my friend was so okay with because she totally understands. I just didn't want to disturb his routine because we have a routine down um if i would have messed up his nap time he would have been cranky and not in a good mood but anyhow we got there and he was just so cranky i don't even know what or what happened i think he got very very overwhelmed we got there and he was not happy at all so i think we spent another 30 minutes outside walking around the neighborhood so he could just calm down and you know understand that we're in a different place and he is a very social baby like i have no problems with him because i always take him places but this time he was not having it i don't i don't know there was just so many other babies there so i think he needed a minute and then he was fine throughout the night i had no other problems with him it was just a lot for the babies there i really like this um concealer I don't know, I've heard mixed reviews about it. People saying that it kind of creases throughout the day. This is the second time I'm using it, but the first time I did use it, it did last throughout the day. It did not crease on me and I never powder. And mine is in 3.25 medium neutral. But it's so funny because when I swatched it, it seems so dark, but then when you go and apply it or you blend it, it kind of brightens the area and it looks lighter almost so the lady at sephora she's like no i think you need a lighter version of like lady i know makeup and no this is it's not oxidizing it's the opposite it's brightening somehow and it's, it's looking lighter i don't know it's something about the formula so this is a perfect match for me especially because i use it in the middle part of my face and the center of my face as well and then on my spots and perfect so this is pretty much what i do and then i'll go in with hollywood flawless filter this is my go-to this is how i do my makeup pretty much every single day a little bit of concealer and this stuff this is just amazing so i'm gonna apply in like a c shape and then i'm just gonna blend it so back to thanksgiving so i cooked all morning even throughout alexander's nap um, everything turned out fine and I made some extra food for our neighbor. I must say the recipes I tried, they were fantastic, spot on. I loved everything. The roasted veggies were a success. Everybody loved those roasted veggies. I did sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, carrots, beets. Amazing. So everything was a success, but the pie was beyond i got so many compliments i think it was gone within minutes i only brought one i don't know why but literally it was gone within minutes everybody enjoyed it and they were just surprised to find out that it was it was made with no white flour no sugar no processed sugar and it was gluten free oil free the whole shebang so they loved it because I have some friends, they're like, this is just too healthy for me. I'm not going to eat it. I'm like, just give it a try. You're going to love it. And they did. So I'm happy that was a success. I'll, I will definitely make more next time because it was a hit, I have to say. So I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows now. And I'm using the Too Faced Brow Pencil, which is amazing. I love it. You know, I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil, but this is just as good. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I always do my eyebrows, even though I got them microbladed. Again, I always fill them in. So we had such a good time. I got to see my friends. I got to like hang out with them, talk to them, um, because it's hard with kids, and we all have kids, which I think it's so great because all my friends we have babies around the same age as Alexander, so he has so many kids to hang out with they're just girls so he was surrounded by all these cute girls mm -hmm. i just love thanksgiving it's my favorite holiday american holiday um i do love it i i feel like it's about traditions and 
family and just being thankful and being present and i am all about that and i love it so next i'm gonna go in and just do a little bit of bronzer slash highlight and i love this thing from rms beauty this is clean makeup um and so i'm gonna use this i'm gonna mix a little bit of the bronzer with the lighter shade so it's not i don't want like a defined face i don't want to contour my face i don't want to uh what is it bronze my face either i just need a little bit of color because i'm not gonna do much like i said i just want that like nice dewy looking skin with probably a pop of color on my lips i think that's what i'm gonna do because i want to wear white and i have this cute red head that i want to wear today we're going to the mall getting into that christmas spirit being a whole festive and so i think that's what i'm gonna do now this highlighter this is to die for this is already gone because i've used it so much but now i'm using the lightest one this is perfect for me right now in the winter because i don't have a lot of color on so it's not looking too whitish but in the summertime it shows a little white like silvery like cool tones which it's my skin has a lot of warmth in it so i i'm not that i don't look good with cool tones right now since i don't have a lot of color this is perfect i just love this little quad i like that dewiness you know i'm all about that my skin is dry so this looks good on my skin i'm not gonna do mascara today because again this is what i do on a daily basis concealer a little bit of the hollywood flawless filter highlight if anything and uh, or bronzer and then a lip or sometimes i just wear this but i want to do a red lipstick since i am going to wear a red hat i'm gonna be a little matchy matchy but whatever so i'm gonna wear this this is ysl if i have the color mm, it's rubbed off i can't rouge eh. if i'll find the color i'll link it for you this is my go-to for those days when i don't wear a lot of makeup or i just want that like dewy skin and something beautiful on the lips because this is not a matte it is a stain but it has a, a glowy finish it's like a lipstick and a lip gloss not too glossy but it's not matte either it's more of a satin with a little bit more gloss in it i love the applicator this is a true red it's not blue based it's not a blue based red it's more like my my robe um but it's beautiful it's such a pretty red and sometimes i like that when it has a little bit of shine I'm not gonna do a liner either because i just want that pop of color nothing too perfect this is my lipstick isn't it cute so yeah that was our thanksgiving it was so nice i'm so thankful for thankful for my friends that hosted it it was so nice it was their first thanksgiving in their new house it was just so so nice we had such a good time and just to see everybody like we got to see all of our friends and that doesn't happen all the time we get together on special occasions like that and that's 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 really nice so i hope you had a blessed thanksgiving i'm gonna get dressed and uh we're gonna go to the mall i might film a little bit in the mall but i mean not a lot because i again we're not gonna go shopping or anything we're just gonna walk around we might get starbucks we're just gonna go there for alexander mainly so that was it i hope you guys enjoyed it um we got to chit chat a little bit after thanksgiving i hope you had a blessed thanksgiving thank you again so much for being here for watching my videos and i cannot wait to see you next time in my next video <laughs> bye